for the rest of the season. The way she goes, uh, she's very quick at the moment. And uh, quite an interesting race yesterday, Mike. Uh, she was fastest on the tracks. She was 67th in terms of her speed through the range. She said that in the, in the post-race interview. The, the, the purpose today was shoot slowly, but make them all count. Can she afford that luxury today with these uh, athletes chasing her away? Goes Vitozzi wearing three. Olimpa Carver just behind her. Dorothy Vera is there. There goes Tandra Vold and Roisland. Preutz uh, is away for Germany. And Denise Herman just behind her. Slow start there from uh, Justine brezard Bruchet. I wonder whether she thought, I'll just tuck in behind Denise Herman. Possibly uh, Herman, she knows, is back on form, although sitting out of the relay first day here, that was that was surprising and yet so strong yesterday. Yeah, she wasn't 100%, uh, I was going to say fit, she was perfectly fit, but she wasn't feeling 100%, and uh, therefore that's why the decision was made. Uh, Finland have a chance, Mary Ada there starting 18, just behind her is um, Germany's Maren Hammerschmidt starting 20, and uh, still waiting to see... Hannah Erberg, uh, who else can... And Vanessa Hintz might be able to climb the order a bit. There she is, 23. Pauline Fialkova, number 25. And uh, waiting for the tall figure of uh, Erberg, who you can just see with the uh, yellow of Sweden. She's wearing bib 36. She's thinking, Julia Simon, she's just underway. <laughs> Often she loves this. She's uh, the ultimate... Uh, I suppose move her through the pack on her own out front she's not quite the same when there's athletes ahead to nibble away at and she often shoots so well in this race but 35 it's a long way up to the podium Ekhoff not only starting for she won the sprint and the pursuit at the world championships a couple of weeks ago and so she's she's more than anyone else in the field, Mike, uh, over the last two seasons, has got used to starting the pursuit first. I was just thinking as she e exited the bridge there, uh, the tunnel, I should say, in the old days, up front should be like a frightened uh, rabbit, should be just so tense, so uh, panicked, and, uh, and that would often affect her shooting. Nowadays, it's common, it's normal, just holding herself back a little, I think, on this first lap, as we normally see from Echo these days. Yeah, I think Le Grand Penant last year was uh, one of the turning points in her career. And uh, although sh she's still a little bit inconsistent, uh, the bad patches are few and far between at the moment. And uh, when it's bad, it's really bad. But that is so seldom and has been so seldom this year. Yes, uh, she's got that Ligrid uh, discipline on the range now. She started, uh, remember, up in Finland, uh, 43rd in the sprint, uh, first sprint, then eighth, and then really she hasn't been off the podium since then, back uh, in the first two World Cups. Yeah, nice footwork from Ekhoff, and you can just see that uh, the tracks are in pretty good condition, cold overnight, and uh, if you were to choose a, an early start today or a late one in terms of would you like to be in the women's race or the men's? Uh, I think the <laughs> women again. <laughs> I think the women are going to have the best show. Well, with uh, gender fluidity, maybe that's possible nowadays. Uh, very controversial subject, of course. As uh, Ekhoff, Shima, Olimbakava, 16 seconds at the start of the race. Uh, 15 between the top three, so no real changes there. Vera has kept her own. Started 16, still at 16. Yes, and the chasing uh, group uh, realizing as the season has gone on, and is it worth the risk of really attacking this first uh, lap of two kilometers? Often it's not. Uh, you pick up even one penalty at this stage, and you really are back midfield when you've been up towards the front. A very, very steady entry from Tirolekov. Beautifully balanced on the ski, as most of them are. But. Uh, even from Jima Mike, you can see how the shoulders move a lot more side to side than they do for Tyrell Ekhoff. Yes, and Shima, she uh, trained most of her summer months down in uh, Pokyuka, her coach down there, and uh, she was wanting medals at the World Champs. Incredible, but uh, just after that, the release of the pressure, she finished second for the first time this season.
So shoot number one of four into the prone position. The women by racing first this week have definitely had easier wind conditions. And that's the case in so many of these uh, ranges. The wind starts to pick up around the midday period. And just as I say that, slightly stronger gust coming through, blowing from the left. Ekhoff uh, looks as though she sussed that pretty quickly, and that's the perfect start to her race. Pressure goes on. Who's going to be the first to miss? I wonder. Vera shoots uh, right to left and usually pretty fast, but throws number three wide. And number four. Oh, that's a disastrous start for Vera. Three misses, Mike. That's uh, so unusual. Uh, and the flag's actually telling you the story. Uh, suddenly picking up, and uh, most of them horizontal for the space of about 10 seconds. I'm so surprised uh, Vera didn't pick that up. But sometimes when you're hiding behind these blinds that uh, most biathletes have on the rifle, you can't see the instant drop off in flags. It's a pity. She got the first two. She thought it's fine. I'll just keep the fast rhythm. And in an instant, she's got three penalties. Yeah, 450 meters. Uh, it's only, for, that's a big, big percentage. And I'm not sure we're going to see Vera near the front again, but she is uh, one of the best chasers in this game. So often she's worked her way from uh, the 20s up into the top five. Passion goes clear for Sweden. Hints is clear as well. Hammerschmidt uh, clears five, but the leader's already a minute down the track. And uh, Ekhoff with that good solid shoot, Mike, uh, making it look pretty easy at the moment. Yeah, very much in control. Simon, uh, she's gone for the fast shooting option. She chases well in these races. She's missed two. Another factor on this range, Patrick, the snow has, has left the shooting range. So the blanket of snow, which normally covers the asphalt or the tarmac, you get a lot of heat haze, haze rising up from the asphalt. And yes, you get used to it, but it's, it's another small factor for the difficulty here uh, in Novi Miesto. Well, the rounds were over to the right-hand side uh, due to that wind picking up from the left, but Ekhoff is away. Olimba Carver holds on to a top position. Roisland has gone from seven to three. First shoot completed here in Novo Miesto. Uh, they're back on the two kilometer loop. Ekhoff leading the way. 21 seconds uh, at the advantage going into this loop. Roisland is the one making ground. She's gone from 22 to 18, so really pushing the pace on the second lap. Uh, Roisland needs a win, doesn't she, Mike? Uh, but she's got Tandrevold uh, pretty much tracking her. And Tandrevold, uh, the early season for her wasn't wasn't spectacular. She expected so much. And, uh, and I think that Roisland and Tandrevold uh, could well work together here in this race. And uh, they would love a 1-2-3 a again today. And uh, very much uh, that is the colour at the moment. Uh, Davidova, I thought that was uh, fast shooting, brave shooting. She's uh, moved from 12th all the way up to 6th. Yeah, Vera. Uh, and Vitozzi, maybe the Italians celebrating their sprint success too heavily. They've gone from, uh, Vera's gone 5 to 21, Vitozzi from 3 to 22. Both of them missing three targets. Uh, that seems that seems bizarre, Mike, uh, two people of their quality. 
I wonder, I'm just uh, looking at which uh, lane they zeroed on, and uh, could that be a fact? It shouldn't be. Uh, they're all used to this range. No, they, they zeroed on lane four, and uh, big surprise. I, I think it, in uh, we saw Dorothea Vera just first two shots hit, comfortable, and then rapid fire. She was uh, third fastest uh, in and out of the range, and uh, just wasn't quite watching the wind drop away. Eight is Francisca Preutz, clear on the first shoot. The top six all going clear. Jima, very quick round the penalty loop. Uh, and Hannah Solar also paying a penalty. But uh, roughly 50% of the athletes going clear on shoot number one. Would expect the same again. Maybe down to 10 athletes with the perfect score at the end of this one. You get a side shot, it's interesting how far. Look at the left elbow, <laughs> Ekov always goes right to the front edge of the mat, and it works. Yeah, nice shooting, nice shooting. Roisland will have been waiting for the thud of a miss, but it didn't come. Now she's just got to focus on the job she's got to do. Five out of five last time, only maximum four now. The wind all over the place at the moment. So uh, four out of five, not a bad score. Olimba Carver stru struggling. Tandra Vold misses her first one. Just about to say that she's going really well, but uh, four out of five for her. So the margin for Ekoff is going to grow beyond the 32nd mark. It's not incredible. So when, when Ekoff came in, the wind was gently from the left. It's turned completely and coming in from the front right. And that really does uh, affect the fall of the shot. They should have clicked their sights three, four to the right. Which begs the question, why do some of them use the double blind, uh, which prevents them from looking down the range at the flags? It's, you can, you do still get a decent vision, don't you, through the, the, the rear sight to the foresight, so you can see one or two lanes, but you can't feel the, or see the flag closest to you at five metres. Yeah, Persian's gone well and clear. Uh, well, we saw the misses from Roisland and Tandrevold. That's pushed... Uh, Roisland still in second, 43, so the margin has more than doubled. Preutz going OK for Germany. Uh, it'd be nice for the Germans to finish the season well. It's been a long, hard slog for them. Hannah Soler, of course, who medalled in the sprint in the World Championships, still in the top uh, seven, still in the position to get on the podium here. Denise Herman still in it and uh, just looking for the best gains. Lynn Persson, really, 21 to 9 at the moment. Uh, and Fialkova, Paulina Fialkova, 25 to 12. Beautiful composure from Echo. She's, she's so mature. She's found exactly what biathlon's all about. Just not overstressing. She's always had the fast ski speed and now mastering the shooting. The two prone shoots completed here in Novo Miesto. Ekoff still leading. She started one. She is still number one. But the margin has grown to 43 seconds, so she can afford one miss. Certainly, uh, probably two, because I think, Mike, she's been uh, skiing conservatively compared to Roisland, uh, who has been playing catch-up pretty much all the way through. Yes, that catch-up game, it, it puts so much pressure on you. You have to, I think, take risk uh, by pushing your pace 
And, and remember that the final lap from Eckhoff yesterday, she turned around a deficit of 10 seconds to turn it into a positive 10 at the end, uh, pulling back 20 seconds. Yeah, uh, fans of the Italians, I'm afraid it's bad news. Having missed three on the first shoot, both Vera and Vitozzi missed the further two. So they've missed five and they're outside the top 20 uh, by some margin. Maybe things will improve for the stand shoot. Just uh, was looking for Hannah Erberg. Uh, just seen Amanda Lightfoot. She's got through the two prones with two misses. Uh, has moved up seven places so far. So having a good day out there. And what about Lisa, Teresa Hauser? Amanda was skiing ahead of her on this lap into the range. And uh, Hauser missing four first time in. And she's gone and missed a further one target. 50% of her prone miss. That's a surprise. Yeah, so... Uh... Hauser, who's been taking uh, World Cup podiums and World Championship medals of late, uh, having a disaster out there. She's not the only one. Hannah Erberg not really uh, making the charge. I thought she might. Two misses. Started 36. She's got herself into the top 30, but is still over two minutes behind Tyrrell Ekhoff, who's in for shoot number three. A margin of 48 seconds between herself and Roysland. Light movement there, end of rifle. You can see it, the wind is, uh, is definitely affecting the stability. Yeah, I'm not sure she meant to let number three go, Mike. Uh, a bit of a snatch and uh, a miss, so uh, that's 25 of the 48 seconds gone. But the others have got to clear five to challenge her. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think only seven eight, nine athletes clear. Actually, a few further down the field, but they're uh, not going to be in the in the mix. But no one, uh, very few in the top ten have the perfect score. Just uh, Francisca Preutz and Lynn Pershen. Ekhoff, in and out of the penalty loop. 14 hits out of 15. Look at their flags now. That's a, that's a, a bad gust. 15 kilometres an hour. That's as strong as it's been a... Uh, in the days they've been racing so far. Yeah, the gods are shining on Ekhoff at the moment, Mike. She Very can't much. seem to do anything right. I think she's got control of the weather as well. Four out of five for Preutz. Now, anyone who clears five, Roisland, I think, does well to get away with one. So uh, Ekhoff's lead will stay uh, in, probably go uh, over a minute after this one because everyone delayed that first shot with the increase in the wind. Back down to eight, seven, five, dropping away again. Can do, oh, Denise Herman, is she the first to clear five on this last shoot? I think she is. And uh, Herman, one miss in the prone. And uh, quite a quick shoot as well, 25.3. Chevalier Boucher, the fastest on the range so far, 24.8. Uh, the margin goes from 48 to 56. It's looking very, very comfortable for Ekhoff now, who can probably afford two misses on the last shoot and still walk away with her fifth. Uh, pursuit win out of six pursuit races this year. Total, total domination. And that actually will seal the uh, trophy. And uh, that, that win situation was so tough on many of the first chasers, the first group uh, picking up one and two penalties. So uh, Echo back to 56 seconds ahead. That's the sixth and the seventh miss from uh, Dorothea Vera. Mike, uh, generally, we didn't see her second shoot, but the first shoot, she hit the first two, missed the last three. In that last shoot, it was the other way around. Hit the first three, missed the last two. Now, just looking at the shooting times, Mike, for shoot number three, Dorothea Vera, 22.2. Who do you think was second fastest? Our teammate, probably. <laughs> teammate, Lisa Vitozzi, 24.2. I wonder whether they've just been told to go out there and, uh, you know, throw caution to the wind, see what happens. Well, actually, it, it paid off for Vitozzi. She had uh, missed three and then two in the two times pro, and uh, so clear their first stand. And that must be a good feeling. They're very much rivals. She would have skied past Vera while Vera was going round the first of her two penalty loops. Nice to see Denise Herman 
with a good run, came out of the range in fourth position. She's 101, uh, just tucked in behind Roisland. So those two will have a good battle if they shoot equal on the last shoot. So we now have two Germans in the top four, two Norwegians, two Germans in the top four. And Fialkova of Slovakia doing well uh, with no misses so far. One, two, three athletes. Uh, Zduic is one of them. Kaisheva is one of them and uh, Fialkova, as I've mentioned. They are the three with the perfect right, score right, so right. far. That's it, that's fabulous on a day like today. I was just looking at the uh, course time, ski times. Uh, Uberg had the fastest lap, um, and interestingly, Ekhoff just uh, 11th, but cruising at five seconds behind them. Breza had the second fastest, and, and again, Ekhoff down in 10th, 11th. But I, I feel that Ekhoff's gonna pick the pace up now, and lap yeah, three, in fact, uh, Breza and then Ekhoff uh, equal fastest. Well, it's a sort of different tactic. Yesterday, she was lightning quick on the tracks and took her time in the range. Today, it's a much quicker shoot, but a steadier ski. Uh, and maybe she is one of the athletes who's developed different tactics for different races. And uh, so far, it's working very, very nicely. She's now over a minute clear of her nearest rival. She can afford two misses, certainly. And if she misses three, uh, we could see a good race on our hands. Can't see that happening, though, with the form she's in. No, and, uh, and again, Patrick, Patrick Oberegger, uh, having someone to give you advice, right, listen, this is how to do it. Uh, you've got such potential, you've great skills. Let's just take it easy through the race, increase the pace, and it's working so far. But if, if the wind is as bad as it was for the chase group as Ekov's coming in now, uh, she may struggle. Well, Pauline Fialkova has put in the outstanding performance. If you go back to Pakuka in the World Championships, she went from 13th in the sprint to 41st in the pursuit. Today, she's gone from 25th in the sprint to 5th in the pursuit. And if she shoots clear again, she could be looking at a podium finish. Gold, we think, is taken. Ekhoff looking for pursuit win number five. That miss wasn't uh, to do with the wind influence, that was just an early snatch. Well, she's given them a chance, but I still think her 10th victory of the season is uh, on her way. That's, uh, well, a minute clear. Now, one of the chasers has got to shoot fast, clear, and then they might get sight of Ekhoff. But uh, as you can see, they're still coming round the back end of the range. They've got another 120 metres or so to go before they shoot for the final time. And Ekhoff has just about completed penalty loop number one. Uh, I think she's going to have some space between herself and the rest, whatever happens. Engelbert Schroltz there. Uh, he's, got, he's got a job on his hands to scope the fall of the shots from two of his athletes. Here we go. Lap number two for Ekhoff. And out she comes, just as the others take their position on the mat. Uh, the easiest two kilometres she's skied all season coming up. This is the battle for second and third. Roisland looks ready to let loose. Chance for Herman. A chance for Herman. Good nerves. Really good near nerves because she knew her rivals had missed. And uh, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if Preutz's miss put, uh, put uh, Roisland off, Mike. Possibly. Uh, you, you, you are aware of what's happening around you. I, I feel for Paulina Fialkova now. She's hit the perfect yeah. 15, struggled on the first two. Well, she limits it to two penalty loops, but uh, she's going to lose a few places. That would have been very impressive. 25th to the podium. Uh, Preutz uh, shooting better to 52. Uh, her total score today, just one uh, miss. I think I'm right in saying, just double checking that. Uh, two misses actually for Preutz. Miss one in the stand. Uh, Roisland's dropped down a five. We've got a bit of a race on our hands for the, for the third position, Mike. Herman is safe, I think. She's some 17 seconds clear. Uh, here comes Vitozzi again. Ah, five out of five last time and very fast she slowed it down this time 
Well, extraordinary. Extraordinary. I think the Vino was uh, out last night on the Italian table. Has to have been. Hints five out of five. Good shooting from her confidence builder for the remainder of the season. Alimba Carver, Mike. She's uh, fallen like a, a lead weight throughout this race. And another two misses from her. Well, we often there's Hannah Uber get, at last getting five. Uh, it's interesting at the end of seasons, the body, the mind, the world championships have just taken place. Uh, you're tired, and, and I think we can see that in some of the shooting performances. Three misses in all for Ekoff. Yeah, this is Ekoff in training mode and uh, a good look over the shoulder just to check to see where the opposition are and who the opposition are. Denise Herman, uh, that might have uh, concerned Ekoff a little bit. She knows that when Herman is on a best form, and to be honest, we haven't really seen it this season, uh, but uh, first couple of years on the tour, she was quicker than anyone else by uh, a good 15 seconds over, a, certainly over a sprint race. Yes, coming into this season, I'd, I'd heard uh, Herman's summer had been good, mostly good. The shooting was improving. And, and that second place she got on the very first race, the individual uh, shooting was great, missing one. But she hasn't touched the podium in an individual since then. Yeah, extraordinary. Now, this is the battle for third place. Which way is that one going? Could see uh, Lynn Persson up there for Sweden as well. Uh, started number 21. So she's uh, the best improved athlete in that group of four. And uh, Lynn Persson has only been on the podium once in her career. Uh, where's your money, Mike? Preutz, Roisland, Jima or Persson for third place? I'm going all the time. I'm going with the Roisland. Uh... <laughs> Herman uh, untouchable in second. Uh, that's going to be a, an all-out battle, and especially up this section, chasing the bronze medal. Yeah, and, and it's a tough finish here in Novo Miesto. You can afford to go from a long way out. We saw a really good finish from uh, Elvira Erberg, who incidentally, that was in the relay, incidentally yesterday in the sprint, um, just couldn't hit anything and found herself outside the top 60, so didn't qualify for this race. Denise Herman just looking at her best. She's got that lovely, dynamic, explosive leg flick now. It was missing a lot of the season. The arms are strong again. Big explosive drop through the arms. Win number 10. I think she can afford the smile. Uh, these sort of races, Mike, great to win, but... It's not sort of race that gives you a buzz because it's all seemed too easy. And uh, <laughs> another 60 points. She's got the Pursuit Crystal Globe firmly in her hands. No one's going to take that off her now. And uh, she moves a step closer to taking the overall title as well. Here comes Denise Herman. Uh, good second place. And Roisland, as Mike predicted, storming into the home finish. Lim Persson's going for it, Mike. Uh, she's not given up on this one. The two Germans blown away. But but, uh, a brilliant finish from uh, Roisland and uh, secures third place, having started the day in seventh. Good finish from Pearson. Uh, I think that's her PB for the season. Excellent work from her. And Preutz five, Jima six. Jima starting in second place today. And, uh, well, the margins look relatively small, but that was due to the fact that Ekoff uh, just had a Sunday stroll over that last 2K loop. Good well, that was some, uh, yeah, some fight to the line for the bronze medal. Lynn Persson, I thought, was coming through strong at the end there. And Preutz just didn't have it on the track. Neither did Shima and uh, Roisland. She's got some desire back. And it was lovely to see Ekhoff giving a, uh, a great big hug. And congratulations to Roisland for her podium. 26 is Anais Bescon. Good work from her. Uh, equal best shooting score on the day with just one miss. Uh, Denise Herman, 19 out of 20. Lynn Pershing, 19 out of 20. No one shooting the perfect score today.